And we're back, okay. Gotta be careful with my approach here so that way I don't get bombarded with these guys. Yep, that was expected. Oh, not gonna double, huh? Good. Still moving that way. Oh, what do we have here? Commander Har, awake! This is no time to be sleeping. A subhuman has been spotted. Come, let us join in the thrill of the hunt. That's not. Even if we don't lift a finger, McCoy's pups will take care of everything. Battle glory awaits. Would you allow others to steal his chance from beneath your very nose? <sighs> Entertain yourself, will you? When a soldier or lands a peasant or what you will. But for the love of flying, stop interrupting my sleep. Oh, you're such a... Fighting? Uh, wake me when it's done. <sighs> That's it. I'm going by myself. <coughs> what? Jill, hold a moment. Yes? Have you changed your mind? You'll wait here with the rest of us. We don't move unless we're attacked. That's the word from up top. Ah. Someone's well, um, willing and eager to prove themselves. As long as you stay out of the range of these guys, they will not move. In fact, it's preferable that we do not move near them at all because... <coughs> Foreshadowing. That's why. Oh, you're about to... You're about to change back. Alright. Uh, you're still on the prowl. I better not move there. You know what? Yeah, sure. Let's break out this fancy new bow, shall we? Yee, snipe. Yee, snipe. Check with you. Five. Okay. Not the outcome I wanted, but I will. Uh, I will deal. Let's keep you out of the way for now. I didn't think to assign a color to that, uh, to a ping game over here, but... Oh, well. Ooh, I like this. I like this a lot. Alright, I better pick you up now. Shade activates. That's good. Uh, 
Where do you think you're going? Big boost for us. That's all right. All right, let's have you move back a bit. But again, be mindful of these guys. Before I go any further, I'm going to heal. Let's see. Review here. Oops. Let's just get a review entirely. versus Paladin. Hmm, I'm not feeling actually headed this way. It appears to be an underestimated courage of our foe. I'd say you have. There can be only one. Alright, good. It's going the other way. I'll leave that thief alone. You have a steel lance. Yeah, having free reign like this is exactly why flyers are uh, particularly strong. Not just in this game, but in most other fire emblems. If not just about all the other ones. <laughs> yeah, you have 13 speed. That's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a little tricky. Wait a second. How much do you do again? 16 to 2, that's only 14, as I meant to say, 2 damage. No. You've lanced your sword, okay. Do not end turn right now, that would be very problematic. Five, come on, dude. Here's fine. Ooh. You have a critical hit ratio. That's a little worrisome. Why not? Some different. Oh! That was a critical hit. So we were the ones guilty of miscalculation. Oh, shit. Oh, I was just saying, the rest is up to you.
Okay, well, we won with math on our side, so that was pretty cool. More math. Okay. Oh uh, no. Instead, do this. Here, you, here, and you two don't really matter. You kind of matter, but you're here. If you defeat the boss, or if a certain number of turns pass, all these men, they're still having problems. Did I make a miscalculation? Ah, it's him! By the way, if you're feeling cheeky and wanted to try covering up that space where he, uh, where he busts down the door, he'll just move to the next available space, so don't bother. If you're playing easy or normal, don't worry, he will not move unless you're within range of him. If you are playing on hard mode like I am, however, he'll move three spaces at a time until he finds a target. In which case, he'll charge right in and destroy them. Do not engage him, whatever you do. He has a ranged weapon, it's very powerful. And he also has, well, this restores HP. And Luna cuts your defense in half. This is the uh, the mastery skill for generals, by the way, which is what Armor Knights promote into. If you were to somehow manage to uh, max out your stats beforehand and, you know, just power level up to this point, it wouldn't matter because he's invincible. So, like I said, if you're with... Uh, no. Unless you have a death wish, do not engage him, otherwise he will spank you so hard he inspires you to make a sandwich. Alright, let's see. I gotta clear up these guys now. The swings are a bit slow, but they are very powerful. Although, fun fact, if you are able to, uh, <clears throat> if you do have, uh, Iken Black Knight, uh, engaged in battle, then, uh, then Iken gets very angry, and he'll, uh, yeah, he'll start getting, going to this, like, full-on rage mode, and wants to, wants to destroy the Black Knight for what happened earlier in the game. But, of course, it'll be, uh, yeah, that would just lead to his demise, so we're not gonna let that happen now. But that dialogue does exist out there if you want to check it out for yourself. It definitely exists out there on the internet. Sure, let's attack up close because we can. 
and uh, flex a little while, we, while we're at it. Seriously, we got so many crits this chapter. It's a little ridiculous. Magic skill. It's only fair. She was able to wall off the enemies for so long. I think she's earned it. Does anybody need last second healing? I don't think so. One HP difference doesn't matter. We're good. Bonky once, bonky twice. All right, gotta go. Bye bye. Mercenaries boarded the ship safely. Now, now to proceed. You're not impeding that shit. I won't allow it. One of Gallia's beast warriors. I've met you once before. Yes, at the castle near the Sea of Trees. From where I'm standing, we've actually met twice. Oh? I saw you that night, standing in the light of the full moon. The night you murdered Sir Grail. <laughs> so you were the one traveling with the Beast King, huh? Interesting. My measurement is in strength. I will naturally learn more of the King's true power. I hate to tell you this, but my king is not to be measured against the likes of me. He is far beyond that. All oh, the better. Now, let us begin. And now they fight. Zero damage. Critical hit! He's okay, though. Barely. Why do my attacks do nothing? You fight aggressively. However, you are no match for me. Oh, healing? Where'd that come from? Huh? <clears throat> Rice, leave this to me. You... you were one of the prisoners. This knight will not raise his hand to me, correct? Go now, quickly. If you insist. I'll give proper thanks when next we meet. Hmm. Commander Har, let us pursue the enemy ship. They're friends of the subhumans. We cannot allow them to escape. Ugh, that was a good nap. Well, looks like the fighting's over. Form up. It's time to withdraw. Commander! Listen to me, Chio. We're scheduled to return home tomorrow. If you were injured in a place like this, your Lord Father would not be pleased. It's because of my father that I must not return home empty-handed. I have to have... I must have something to show him. Please. Simmer down, girl. Black Knight has ordered us to withdraw. Would you ignore his word? That... Would be suicide. Correct. So let's move out. Blast. My lord Black Knight, a ship is departing. If we ready our own ship and set sail without delay, we can overtake it immediately. Listen to me, Dane General. You will withdraw from this place. I will not allow you to pursue that ship. Who is you both speak, fool? You know I do who's speaking to you, do you? Gather your men. Withdraw. Yet we... I will not repeat myself. Do it now. Yes, yes at once. Hmm, looks like someone's got some authority. Are you sure that's true? Yes, you can ask these two for more details. Two of us, we're representing, we're representing the challenge folk. 
You say that a green hair last boarded that ship? Yes, she had a very noble bearing about her, and she was beautiful. Her name was Ellie? Ellen? They called her something like that. It's true, Princess Alicia. <laughs> My luck has changed. All of us, all the townsfolk, are ready to cooperate any way we can, if you would keep that in mind. Uh, believe me, I understand your loyalty. Well then... You there, come here. Yes, sir, right here. Get these two worms out of here. Find the hardest fiscal labor in this town and get these fools started. Working from dusk till dawn without stopping. Working until they can no longer move. You got that. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. B but that's... Why? Why would you... Stop your whining. How else am I going to reward worms vile enough to sell their own princess to the enemy? Enjoy your payment, you greedy dastards. <laughs> uh, our own princess? That's not... It can't be. It can't. No. No! My Lord Ike, how wonderful. I didn't think you were going to make it. I'm sorry to have worried you. Oh no, I'm just very happy to see you as well. So very happy. <sighs> I doubt the enemy will pursue me this far. A warrior such as you, wounded. Did a bear give you that bruise? The Master Gifka. Ah! The king told me to come and check on you. Don't move. You're plenty banged up, but nothing appears to be broken. There's one among the Dayan army whose power is overwhelming. To move with such speed with all that armor, I tell you, it's not right. And now the king's forced to use you and his, war his shadow warrior to check up on me. The ministers are as, are, as are as obstinate as ever. No matter what happens, they will not approve of an alliance with the Bayork. Nothing to be done about it. Every one of the older retainers has memories of the Goose subordination. Even the king. If Princess Alencia were not King Ramon's orphan, I doubt he would be willing to aid her. Perhaps you're right. At any rate, the princess and the others are now safely at sea. And the watchdog? No signs of carelessness, I presume? Of course not. Even the elders will bend their ears to hear what that one says. That one is special, after all. And how do you see this? Princess Silencia's drive for the reconstruction of Crimea. Does she have a chance? Huh, who can say? Which way the wheel turns depends on Ike and his mercenaries. Success and failure are but a hair removed. So this company, which has seen nothing but flee, <clears throat> controls the fate of the kingdom? That's a dangerous gamble, isn't it? All gambles are dangerous, Master Gifka. But no, but no mistake about it, Dane's next target is Gallia. We must go home and prepare. Princess Crania, did she board the ship to Benyon with the remainder of Gawain's mercenaries? Yes. The entrance that was Gawain is dead. The location of the medallion will soon be known. Has our worm worked itself into the group? It appears that our worm has been accepted as a trusted member of the company. <laughs> All is going as planned. Now, we let them swim as they please. There is one thing. I met someone unexpected at the harbor. Who? The Prime Minister of the Benyon Empire. What? Is that true? If he is nosing about, we must not make any mistakes. Did he give any indication he had caught on to our plans? That I do not know. He did tell me to deliver a message to you. Overreaching ambition invites disaster. Pah, nonsense. Our only concern is the Princess of Crimea and the Medallion. We must wait and watch until such time as we strike. In the interim, I want you to take charge of in the invasion of Gallia. Be smart. You must not allow Gallia to bring her full might to bear. Understood? As you will. So that was Big Bad Ashnard. Yeah, he's a scary one, all right. <laughs>